Morning Kids. I'm Elissa and today is going to be amazing because we are learning that God's words are always true. I'm so excited. Let's not waste any more time. Check it out. Ahoy mateys! Welcome aboard me ship. Me name's Pirate PD and I'm the captain of this here pirate ship I like to call the Barnacle Barge. And this is me first mate, Polly Parrot. Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard! Polly and I are about to set sail and hunt for treasure. We sure could use some help. Would you mateys like to be a part of me pirate crew and search for treasure with us? Yeah. Search for treasure! Ah, search for treasure! Ah. Yay! Yeah, As a part of me pirate crew, you'll be helping me and Polly around the ship. Before we can get going, there's a few things that you need to do. First, we need to hoist a sail. Come on, crew, you do it too. Shiver me timbers, we did it. Next, we need to steer the ship. Come on, crew. You do it too. Yo ho ho, look at you go. Now it's time to swab the deck. Come on, crew. You do it too. Good job, mateys. Now, the last thing we must do before setting sail on our great treasure hunt is dance a pirate jig. Come on, crew, you do it too. Come on, crew, come on, crew. I got the river of living water, a fountain never will run dry. It's an open heaven, your we will never be denied Cause you're stirring up deep, deep wells You're stirring up deep, deep waters You're gonna dance in the river Dance in the river You're stirring up deep, deep wells You're stirring up deep, deep waters You're gonna jump in the river Jump in the river. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. We cry out to we cry out to you, Jesus. I got the river of living water, a fountain never will run dry. Come on. It's an open heaven you're releasing. We will never be denied. Cause you're stirring up deep, deep wells. You're stirring up deep, deep waters. You're gonna dance in the river. Dance in the river. You're stirring up deep, deep wells. You're stirring up deep, deep waters. You're gonna jump in the river. Jump in the river. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. Deep cry out to deep cry out to you, Jesus. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. Deep cries out to deep cries out to you. We cry out to we cry out to you, Jesus. We're falling into deeper waters, calling out to you. We're calling into waters calling out to you. Yo ho, look at you go. You can take your seats aboard me ship. Now we best get out our treasure map so we can find the treasure. Quick, unroll your map with me. There's an X on our map. 
because X marks a spot where the treasure should be. If you see the X, point it out, me hearties. Yes, that's right. But to get over to it, we must sing a special pirate song. Ah, it goes like this. Your word to me is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Psalm 119, 140. Well, blow me down, Polly. <laughs> Let's all sing it together, mateys. Your Yo-ho! Way to go! We made it! Oh, look! I see the X where our treasure will be. It looks like we have to play a game to get to it. Stand up and get ready to play! To get to our treasure, we need to follow the pattern. Well, tiptoe, tiptoe, jump! Then tiptoe, tiptoe, jump! Until we've made it to the X. You do it! Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump! Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump! Tiptoe, tiptoe, jump! Tiptoe, tiptoe, now stop! What comes next, me hearties? Jump! Yay! We made it to the X. And X marks the spot, me hearties. We need to dig to find our treasure. Now get your shovel ready and dig with me. Let's dig some more. Don't give up. Keep going, we've almost got it. We did it, me hearties. We found the buried treasure. Isn't it beautiful? It's the Bible and it's better than gold. Better than gold. Better than gold. The Bible has many treasures. If you're ready to hear a treasure from the Bible, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. And you can't forget your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Now you're ready. God wanted to be the Israelites' only leader, but they begged him for a king. So God gave them what they asked for. Some of the kings who ruled over them were good, like King David, who loved God and fought for his people. Can you give the good kings a thumbs up for loving and obeying God? Nice! And there was King Josiah, who taught all the people in his kingdom to treasure God's word. But there were also bad kings who did terrible things and who didn't believe in or honor God. Show a thumbs down for that. One of those bad kings was King Ahab. Ahab was evil and did not obey the one true God. But during that time, there was a prophet named Elijah. Can you say Elijah? Elijah! Elijah heard special messages from God, and God sent him to tell King Ahab that there would be no rain or dew in the kingdom for the next few years because of Ahab's bad choices. Then, God told Elijah to go and stay near a small stream of water. God promised that Elijah would still have water to drink and that the ravens would bring him food. Can you flap your wings like the ravens? God's words were true. And just like he said, the ravens brought Elijah bread and meat to eat, and he drank water from the stream. When the stream dried up, God spoke to Elijah again and told him to go to a nearby town. There, he would find a woman who would feed him, Elijah obeyed God, and what God said came true. When Elijah entered the town, he found a woman gathering sticks and asked her for a jar of water and a piece of bread. The woman did not have any bread and only a few drops of oil left to make some. She told Elijah she was gathering sticks to make her very last meal for her and her son. Elijah told her not to be afraid. He said to go home and make the meal, but to first make a small loaf of bread for him. He told her that God said she would not run out of ingredients to make bread. The widow went away and did as Elijah told her to do. And Elijah, the widow, and her son had food every day because their ingredients never ran out, just like God had said. What God said to Elijah and the widow was true, and God's word also proved true when he sent Jesus to earth. The people wanted a king, and God promised that he would send them the best king of all, 
Jesus. Over and over again throughout God's story, we see that what God said would happen really did happen. And that's how we know that God's word is true. Or would you look at that? We got three gold doubloons for learning that God's word is true. Now grab your treasure and put it in your pocket. God's word is true. God's word is true. Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. God's word. God's word. Is true. Is true. Yo-ho, look at you go. We can read God's word and know that it's true. Now let's celebrate all we've learned on our treasure hunt by singing a song. This song's called The Pirate Party. And what better way to celebrate than with a party? Stand up, sing, mateys. Aboard me hearties, we're pirates on our way So join our pirate party You're the pirate crew And you're here to save the day So here's what pirates do Just follow what I say Hoist the sail! Hoist the sail! Heave ho! Heave ho! Steer the ship! Steer the ship! Swab the deck! Swab the deck! Now let me see you dance the jig! Dance the jig! Yay, hey, hey! Jump aboard me hearties! We're pirates on our way! So join our pirate party! You're the pirate crew! And you're here to save the day! So here's what pirates do! Just follow what I say. Hoist the sail! Hoist the sail! Heave ho! Heave ho! Steer the ship! Steer the ship! Swap the deck! Swap the deck! Now let me see you dance the jig! Show them your pirate moves! Yay, hey, hey! You saved the day, me hearties! Yay, hey, hey! And we're glad you joined our party! Well, shiver me timbers, you're already a yo-ho pirate pro. And the one thing a pirate must do is count up his gold doubloons. Gold doubloons, gold doubloons. Oh, mateys, count them with me. One, one two, two, three, three gold, gold doubloons. doubloons. And look, these coins be having a question about God's word. Let's take a look at the first one. It says, what part of God's story did we hear today? Mateys, did we hear a made-up story about a crocodile? No. No. But did we hear a true story about Elijah? Yes. Well, blow me down, you're right. We heard a true story of how God spoke to a man named Elijah. And everything God said really happened. The Bible is God's story, and every single word he says is true. Let's look at our next gold doubloon. This one says, what did you learn today? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Yo-ho, way to go, Polly. You're right. We learned that God's word is true. This time, we'll let our pirate crew join in. Lead the way, Polly. God's word is true. God's word is true. Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. God's word. God's word. Is true. Is true. Arr, that's right. Every time I read God's word, I can know that it's true. Let's look at our last gold doubloon. It says, now that you know God's word is true, what should we do? Mateys, should we throw God's word away or should we read it every day? Read it every day. Aye, aye, mateys. You and I can read our Bible and believe what it says. 
Now it's time to set sail back to the mainland. If you're ready to go, let's sing our special sailing song. Take it away, Polly. Ah, it goes like this. Your word to me is like pure gold. I treasure what you say. Well, blow me down, Polly. <laughs> let's all sing it together, mateys. Your Hey, 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 what a day. We've made it back to the port, me hearties. Let's say what we learned today one more time for all of our land lovers to hear. God's word is true. God's word is true. Repeat after me in your best parrot voice. God's word. God's word. Is true. Is true. Yo ho, look at you go. Thanks for being part of me crew here on the Barnacle Barge. I sure do hope you'll be joining me for another treasure hunt real soon. Ahoy! <laughs> bye bye, meaties! What God told Elijah would happen really happened. How amazing is it to know that God is all about telling the truth and keeping his promises? One of my favorite times God was true to his word was sending Jesus to save us. God told us that Jesus would be coming many times in the Old Testament. And then we get to see how he was true to his word. And Jesus was born and lived on earth in the New Testament. God's words are true. And when we read his word, we can trust what is said. Let's pray and thank God for always being true to his word. Dear Jesus, thank you for always being true to your word. Thank you that we can trust what we read in the Bible, God. Thank you just so much for keeping your promises. We love you. Amen. Amen, you guys. I can't wait to learn more with you. Until then, See ya!